This video is about a fairly simple uh, program that actually leads to a much more complicated program that I'm going to describe in the next video. But basically what we want to do is get the size of a directory with no subdirectories. And the fields involved are uh, simply a selected directory that shows what the directory we selected with the folder browser dialog is the number of files in that directory and the size of the directory and the way we get the size of the directory is to simply add up all the file sizes so we've seen most of this code before in, uh, in previous uh, videos I did on uh, directory info and file info essentially we create an object from directory info of the selected directory and then we do a git files on all the uh, files in that directory and then we initialize a length uh, variable of long and a count variable of int and then we go through uh, each of the files using a for each which successively reads uh, every member of the array into a variable called fi and then I take the length uh, property of the uh, file info and add it to the um, length variable which we initially set to zero. And I use the plus equal which is essentially the same as saying nl dir length equals nl dir length plus fi dot length but it's a shorthand way of saying it saying add this length to the current collection of lengths and then I increment the file count variable and then we use a convert to string to convert both these uh, numerical values to string values and put them in the fields of uh, num number of files and directory size so as I say fairly straightforward if we go uh, back to uh, the form and do a compile and run and then do a git directory size I created a number of, or not a number, but two test directories. And one is uh, called test, and it has a bunch of subdirectories, which is what we're going to look at in the next video, which calculates a size of a directory that has subdirectories. It uses recursion to do that. But right now we're just looking at a file that has only one level, and we just ha need to count the files and add up the links for that one level so I select that and press OK and you see there's five files and they're actually all the same file that's eight bytes and we have a file size of 40 so that worked correctly well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and we're going to go get into a much more complicated version of this program that uses recursion in the next uh, video in order to calculate the size of directories that have subdirectories until then, uh, I hope you uh, learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe.